Welcome to Beijing Lifestyles, where we give you the best of Barbados and all of its hidden treasures. Today is all about sweet, juicy meat. It's true. Sweet, Barbados smokes. <laughs> <laughs> Succulent, fall off the bone smoke meats. Yes. Mm -hmm. Chef's kiss is what we'll be trying today. We are at Dread Hot Brewery. They have the best beer on the island. They do. Yes, they do. Even though I'm not much of a beer drinker. You should try the smoke porter. It, go, it should pair well with the meat. You look at he advertising for these people. I, I like it. Come on. <laughs> hey, well, guys, he's new to the channel. This is my friend Jamal. You'll be seeing a bit more of him here. He'll be helping me to make these videos, right? So it seems. Or eating food. <laughs> <laughs> At least eating food. <laughs> both, both, both. Both, both. All right. Barbados Smoke House offers the best smoked meats in Barbados. The best pork belly, briskets, and barbecued chicken on the island. You can enjoy this succulent meat and more by delivery service, private catering, and at one of their pop-ups. We got to try it at one of the very popular events held at Dread Hop Brewing. Yes, show me that glistening there. Okay, so I'm about to try the pork belly and it looks so juicy and delicious. I'm excited. It's well cooked, well flavored. You clearly can see the flavors are here. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I love the flavors. Bit of tiny, sweet barbecue and of course that smoke flavor is there <laughs> mm. and the bread is awesome okay so what's pork belly because it's so like fat am i correct it's just a, a small layer of fat mm. and there's meat on either side it's good it is very good Okay, so we've tried the pork belly. Now it's time for some brisket. I got a nice slab here. I'm just gonna go straight for it and enjoy it. Mmm, how the hell? That is so tender. Sorry, looking up at my friend. That is so tender. I just a little bit of resistance. And then it literally is falling apart in my mouth. So damn good. So good. You should see how it fell apart. My God. <laughs> Get in it. Mm -hmm. I actually like it more than the pork. Okay, so the crowd is getting so big here at um, Dread Hawk. Brewing. We got a pop up of Barbara's Smoke House. And I can see why. This brisket, I've never had brisket before, but this is so damn good. This is soft and tender and, and full of so much flavor. I can see why people flock to get their, their meats. So good. The owner Yoha was so busy that we had to set another day to chat. Day two. We're here at Coca Hill Forest. It's a beautiful parish of St. Joseph with Johan Calendar of Barbados Smokehouse. Johan, first off, how did you get into the art, I will call it an art, of smoking meat? Um, so I'm originally from Trinidad and Tobago mm -hmm. and home we do a lot of what are we doing here? Wood barbecue. Uh -huh. And it was something that very was not very common. Mm -hmm. And for me, barbecue and smoked meats go hand in hand. Where you're cooking over a fire, you're cooking around friends, and it's very communal. You know, th there's something about being out in the forest, yeah. being behind your friend's backyard, yes. you know, at home, and just having the ability to cook with wood, get good meat, and just have a good time. Love it. Now I've tried your smoked meat. Yes. I tried them at one of your pop-ups, which was at Red Hawk Fury. Correct, yes. And I fell in love with the brisket. Thank you. So tell me, can you share the secret behind Honestly, 
The key to smoke meat is your labor of love. It's a 14 hour process and there's no way to rush it. You just got to get the best meat you can, the best wood, the best salt, the best pepper. That's it. It's one of the most basic recipes. Everyone says, what did you do to this beef to make it taste like that? And I said, it's four ingredients, wood, salt, pepper, and good meat. And love. And just, and love. A whole lot of 14 hours of love. <laughs> That's all, that's all it is. Love it, love it. So what do we have here? So today we actually have a locally sourced picanha, mm -hmm. some roasted chicken. Mm -hmm. Again, very simply seasoned. Same thing with our picanha, very simply seasoned. And we're doing some tacos, some meat tacos today. Ooh. And we also, what we like to do, we incorporate a lot of, sometimes we're, we're not able to get local wood. Mm -hmm. We incorporate a lot of local flavors. So today actually locally sourced there from cocoa oil forest this is actually ginger leaves nice. so what we're doing today it's a garlic ginger chicken mm -hmm. roast so basically we have our roast and our wood charcoal going we're gonna we roasted our chicken on top of our leaves to give it that nice earthy gingery mm -hmm. sweet kind of taste today um, which is a little different but you know we like incorporating all the local flavors and which is what I mean that a lot of people might choose ginger powder or artificial flavors when Honestly, the best seasoning you can do is the most simple. Freshest. Yeah, so we have fresh, we have ginger, we have turmeric, we have all these things around us. So sometimes it's nice to incorporate it. So Love here it. you go, try one of our steak tacos. Okay, that, no. Okay guys, live on camera, I'm about to try. And you called it? It's a steak, it's a picanha steak taco. Picanha steak taco, I sound so funny. I find it so hard to believe how well flavored it is with such simple ingredients. Well, you see, the, a lot of the principle behind barbecue is something we have lost. Barbecue actually is a, it comes from an Ar Arawak word mm -hmm. or native. Actually, right here in the Caribbean is where the word barbecue or barbacoa or any similar variation actually originated from, mm -hmm. which really is wood and this fat here or fat cap that will be found on the picanha. Mm -hmm. This, uh, with the fat allowing to be dripped onto the fire, creates somewhat of a, that smoky flavor that you taste. So what happens is that as the fat melts, mm -hmm. that falls onto the firewood or your charcoal, which then flashes back up, really? which really gives it that flavor, which is what makes the difference between wood-fired barbecue or wood-fired smoked meat versus gas grill or gas barbecue, or people throwing barbecue sauce on a grill. And that is actually what really chars it and gives it that flavor. It really is good meat. How did you learn all of this? Is it based on from your tradition? Yes, yeah, so it's just um, very Caribbean experiences. Did you study it? No, I am an economist by <laughs> education. Um, but we in Trinidad and in the Caribbean in general, men do a lot of outdoor cooking. Yeah. And it's like, you know, as you say, you grab a case of beers, mm -hmm. you come out here and you enjoy yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. So for us, this has always been something that has been very competitive between the our guys group about who can do the oh, best okay. barbecue home okay, okay. so it was something that i genuinely missed here mm -hmm. and that camaraderie and that thing and and when everyone tried it they were like well you know what just cook for us mm -hmm. we don't mind yeah. so that's yeah how we actually perfected it and there's no way to make good barbecue without making bad barbecue Interesting. Yes. you have to go through the bad you gotta to go through the, the bad to learn the good <laughs> you're gonna have some days where you just don't know what happened uh, because again, it's as simple as you see here. Fire, mm -hmm. wood, salt, pepper, fresh ginger, and good meat. Good meat. It really is good meat. And let me do up one of the chicken tacos for you now. Okay. Yeah. Come, Mikey. Just ginger, garlic, salt, pepper, everything that is goodness. I can actually smell the ginger. <laughs> I literally can. It smells, the aromatics of it are so lovely. And that's one thing about using and the ability to use these fresh ginger leaves out here. Mm. For it. All right, straight for it. <laughs> oh, goodness. So good. Guys, again, tell us where we can find Barbados. So Barbados Smokehouse, as we said, it's a pop-up based event. Mm -hmm. 
So we do pop-up catering, we move around the island, sometimes it may be West Coast, South Coast, and then we also take um, orders or deliveries through our social media yes. pages. I saw that, you actually do some mashed potatoes. Yes, so we have some simple sides, and then we also, when you message directly, we can do things like tacos, and we have different menus based on the type of event that you want to have. Well, I love it, I love everything that you're doing with Barbara Smoke House. Thank you. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye-bye. I'm going to enjoy. Find me. <laughs>